and weather forecast. And what a beautiful evening we have here to go to the Hooks game or no matter what you're doing outdoors. Did you notice we didn't have as much wind today? Oh, is it beautiful out there? And with all that sunshine, we're having, we see temperatures in the 70s to low 80s right now, still holding at 80 at Beeville, 84 at Alice, and that breeze has picked up along the coast. Beautiful evening. And as you're heading out the door this evening and for the Hooks game, it looks nice. In fact, by 10 o'clock, still at 68 degrees, that breeze gradually dying down and just perfect weather to get outdoors tonight. Now, tonight's still going to be a little on the cool side. Inland, we dropped down to near 50 at George West, 57 Robstown, 55 Corpus Christi. Right along the coast, we're going to stay in those lower 60s tonight, but very nice night across the coastal bend. Tomorrow, we see that wind returning. It's going to pick up in the afternoon. So the morning's the best time to do any wind-sensitive activities before it really starts to crank up in the afternoon. And temperatures will be warm tomorrow, and we've got plenty of sunshine in the forecast. Look at these highs. 91 George West, 88 Alice. Feeling a little hot out there in some of our inland areas. And in the mid to upper 70s, right at the beaches tomorrow, Corpus Christi hitting 85 degrees. But look at the wind numbers. These are in miles per hour. And you can see this is starting off early in the morning. We have a bit of a breeze already blowing right along the coast, about 15 miles an hour. Lighter inland. And watch as it picks up from the south southeast. These are sustained wind speeds, 20 to 25 tomorrow. Well, it doesn't stop because Sunday morning will continue to be windy and it even picks up more in the afternoon. Look at this. By 5 o'clock, it's possible we could see 30 mile an hour winds right along the coast Sunday. Sunday looks like the windiest day of the weekend and very timely, right? We've got Portland Wind Fest. It's certainly going to live up to its name this weekend. Plenty of wind for Wind Fest, but nice weather, lots of sunshine, temperatures uh, hovering close to 80 for the high temperatures, nice and mild out there. So good weather if we don't have to deal with any uh, thing like rain or anything, although we could use it, but at least the events will have dry weather this weekend. If you're heading to the beach, we're looking at three foot surf tomorrow and a moderate rip current risk. The high tide at 142 in the afternoon. Don't forget, like we talked about yesterday, check the beach flags before going into the water to see what dangers are out there. If the flag is red, that means stay shallow, waist deep for adults, knee deep for children. While we are soaking in the sun and enjoying warm spring weather here, it's still winter-like across the Great Lakes and the east. Look at those temperatures, yeah. If you've been watching some of the opening day baseball games, you probably have noticed that people are wearing coats out there in the stands and they're going to need them again tonight. Look at those cold temperatures and even a little bit of snow coming down in the Great Lakes area, a few flakes there and rain in the east. Meanwhile, we have high pressure that has settled over the area. That's still giving us some dry conditions now. Uh, the wind, however, is starting to change around. Today it started coming around to the east, southeast, and will continue to do so. As it does, that humidity is going to be increasing this weekend as the humidity climbs into early next week. That wind's going to keep going. We have an area of low pressure that's to the north. That's why Sunday looks like the windiest day in the next five or so, and the humidity is going to be climbing as well. So very humid conditions by the time we get into early next week. Here's your seven day forecast. The only day that we might get a little bit of rain would be Tuesday. Right now it still looks like a dry weather pattern. Windy, warm and humid. Nights are going to get kind of muggy near 70 degrees days into the 80s through the week.